I'm uh, Eike van den Berg. Uh, I'm a Dutch radiologist. Um, and um, I was trained before I did this uh, ESOR fellowship uh, in Rotterdam. I did a, a Dutch um, fellowship in neuro and head and neck radiology. And um, currently I'm working in a university hospital in another city in, um, in uh, the Netherlands, uh, also in uh, neuro and head and neck radiology. I took part in the um, um, fellowship in neuroradiology, uh, which took place in London at the National Hospital uh, for Neurology and Neurosurgery. I could set my own goals, more or less, uh, within the subject of neuroradiology, uh, obviously. So um, I did many things. Um, I, I was present at many multidisciplinary meetings to see what their approach is uh, in these meetings and how they solve and discuss these cases. Uh, I was present at many uh, reporting sessions as well um, and did some um, uh, image uh, interpretation myself as well, obviously, uh, under guidance of a consultant. Um, and furthermore, um, my own, one of my own personal interests is advanced uh, neuroimaging. Uh, for instance, functional MRI and DTI. Um, so I was present at many uh, acquisitions of those scans and the processing of all the data. Um, so just to, to get a feel on, on how, how they are doing that and what the indications for those spe specific scans are in, in their uh, hospital. So, um, um, and uh, also I managed to contribute a little bit to the setup of a uh, uh, research uh, topics. I'm not quite sure if I was a part of the uh, um, working environment because um, um, I didn't have this, the same responsibilities as uh, the other uh, radiologists. Uh, uh, but um, I did feel part of the um, department in the sense that I, I got to know many people also a little bit on a personal level. Um, and um, everybody was really happy um, in, in, in helping me, uh, offering help without me asking. Um, so I felt really comfortable there um, with, with all my questions. And be, be, because it's, if, if you have a lot of goals, um, although three months seems to be quite a long period, at the end, it's, it's uh, still only three months, so you really need to um, use your time very efficiently. And, but they helped me uh, with that, yeah. I've managed to gain more knowledge and confidence in, in the interpretation of, um, of, the, of the, uh, the scans, um, so in, in neuroradiology in general. Um, I managed to uh, learn more uh, about the, the advanced imaging techniques and, and how in, in many different ways you can set up those, those uh, acquisitions and, and how to uh, try to learn uh, or, or uh, get the knowledge um, that I could use to, to implement those techniques myself in my own hospital. Um, so I learned that. I also learned, uh, actually, because I was in an unfamiliar environment, I learned to, to make uh, contact with people more quickly than I'm used to do. Okay. So um, um, that was a learning experience as well, just, just to, to get to know people and, 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 and um, trying to get what you want, more or less, uh, within a limited time period. It's useful uh, to, to work in a different hospital uh, because um, every hospital has its own uh, different uh, approaches and that's obviously also the case between uh, countries. So, so yeah, you, you, you see the differences in the, in the, the medical system uh, and how they approach their, their, their patient care. Um, and. Um, Another thing is when, when, when you report um, these, these MRI scans, uh, you need to uh, do that in a different language. So this was in English for me, so it, in, English is not very difficult for me to, to uh, use, but, but still if you, if you are forced to use it in a, in a professional setting, you really, 
in, in your own country, you are used how to to uh, formulate uh, the uh, the problems and, and the diagnosis, and, and and you really need to think more about how you uh, formulate your sentences really uh, in an efficient way. So you learn quite a lot about the terminology actually. Uh, which can be quite helpful uh, for the future as well if you go to uh, international conferences. I'm more comfortable in, in using uh, the English, la English language to, to describe the scans and, and, and the pathology. It's really a unique opportunity to, to be able to work in a different hospital, to not have the, the, the responsibilities um, uh, um, that you have when, when you work in, in your own hospital as a consultant or, or a, a registrar. Um, and this gives, gives you um, the liberty to, to really uh, gain more knowledge and, 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 and learn. So it's, it's really a unique opportunity uh, to do so. And, and I mean, it, it, it made me very enthusiastic even more about uh, the, the neuroradiology. Uh, because I got to work with uh, a lot of very enthusiastic and, and, and um, great neuroradiologists. So, uh, it, well, it's, I would do it again, yeah.